In this video, we will show you how to create a digital model for implant cases in 3Shape Model Builder. With Model Builder, you can choose between the two different ways of making a model, with a hole for an implant analog or an abutment merged as a die. Digital models are ordered by default for imported TRIOS orders. You can modify an ordered model by clicking Modify, choosing a tooth and ordering another model in the order form. To design an implant model with single abutments as removable dies, select Sectioned Die Ditched Model. To design an implant model with gingiva cut to fit the restorations, select Sectioned Die Ditched Model or Unsectioned Model. To design an implant model with a merged abutment bridge or a bar, select Unsectioned Model. To order digital models for a new implant case, open the order form, choose Object Type, Digital Impression, choose Abutments or Abutment Bridges, optionally with other restorations, choose your variant of antagonist, choose a digital model for the preparation jaw, then a model for the antagonist will be ordered automatically. Then click OK. Use the pop-up menu to import scans and start the design. Model Builder can be opened as the last step of the restoration's design. Designing an abutment restoration is not required to design an implant model with analog holes. To skip the abutment design, you can still order the abutment to define the implant system. Skip the order in Dental Designer until the insertion direction step. Then close the order and choose the Build Model pop-up menu item in Dental Manager. In the Model Builder at the Prepare Scan step, you can correct the occlusion plane to get proper orientation of the dies and the articulator interface, trim the scans to get a nicer model, and remove artifacts at the Add Remove Materials step. If any scan abutments are left in the scan, you can also remove them with the Tooth Extraction tool at the Add Remove Materials step. Whenever you are ready, click Next to go further. At the Combine with Design, you can set the options for the digital model with a restoration previously designed in Dental Designer. You can choose to merge the abutments with the model if you have no implant analogs. Or choose to cut to gingiva with the design to get both the holes for analogs in the model and the gingiva cut to fit the restoration. The original model option can be chosen to get only holes for analogs. When ready, move further. At the Section Scan tab, you can section the neighbors in your scan by clicking the Neighbor button. Follow the on-screen instructions to section the neighboring teeth. Sometimes the teeth adjacent to an implant are partially cut by the hole for the analog's insertion on the finalized design step. Such teeth can be protected by ordering a section die ditched model and sectioning the teeth as neighbors. Click OK to go to the next step. In Generate Dies, you can modify the insertion direction by selecting a tooth with a mouse click and manipulating the control point. Click Apply and then OK to go to the next step. When, at the Articulator Interface step, rotate the chosen articulator to set it into the desired position. You can always switch between any articulator models which are defined in the Dental System Control Panel. At this point, choose whether to use ID tags on the models. Set the text depth and font height for them. Click OK when finished. On the Finalize Design step, you can polish the design of the model by smoothing its edges and designing soft tissue. This step lets you create a soft tissue cutout. If you wish to add it, press the Soft Tissue button. The soft tissue is automatically placed around the analog interface. In cases where you are working on a bigger implant case, the soft tissue can also be placed for the whole arch. Right-click on the model to add or delete the cut planes. To enable the cut planes, click on a cut. Further on in the Settings part, you've got the Protect Analog checkbox. When it's enabled, 
it allows you to set the thickness value of a wall created around the analog. The Add Fixture option adds a small protrusion on the model under the soft tissue item and its notch in the soft tissue to speed up finding the correct mounting orientation. Both the fixture and the analog protection wall appear in the final design step on completion of the soft tissue sub-step. Click OK to complete the soft tissue modeling. Now you can check your design and if required enable a hollowed model. To do that choose the virtual trimming settings from the right menu. In the model manufacturer menu check hollow model, set the value for the surface thickness and click OK. Click Next to move further. The models are prepared and saved. At this point you can see their final design. Click Close to send them for manufacturing. Sometimes an analog hole in the manufactured model appears too small or too loose. It depends on many aspects. But once the digital model design settings are tuned, the analog fitting should be consistently good for the given printer resin and analog. To find the proper settings, reopen the order in the model builder. On the first step, open Virtual Trim Settings. Increase analog to model spacing if the hole was printed too small, or decrease the spacing if the hole is too loose. Then complete the order and manufacture the model again. Once the proper settings are found, you can save them for future orders in the control panel in the Digital Model Design settings. Now you have learned how to create models for implant cases. To learn more, we do recommend watching other videos suggested in the description box. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.